Uh, I am here on February, I'm sorry, January 28th, 2014 for the International Toy Fair in Nuremberg. And Erlangen is about a 16 minute train ride to the Toy Fair. Uh, through the station you'll see a lot of modern rail cars and uh, it's kind of cool because over here as I zoom in over here when they come around that curve uh, these modern rail cars have like a pendolino technology so they kind of lean in the curve actually very very cool and it's a heck of a lot warmer than in Chicago I think we probably got about 34 degrees so it's like a tropical paradise co compared to uh, minus 41 with the windshield that we're having this weekend. Very, very cool. Well, here's a train coming in. Looks like an IC. I love Europe. No matter what town you're in, the trains are always a little bit busy. And the US is just pretty much freight. Probably pulled by a 101 electric. It's not a very big train station because Nuremberg is so close. Nuremberg is a massive station. But I bet you they get some good compositions through here. It is almost five in the evening. Might even see a new ice train, the Valaro, come through here if we're lucky. I'm going to take a walk through town, see if there's any interesting hobby shops. I love Europe. No matter what town you're in, the trains are always a little bit busy. And the U.S. is just pretty much freight. Well, I'm at it again. Train spotting in Bamberg, Germany. Bamberg is a beautiful little town in Bavaria, not far from Nuremberg and Coburg. And I'm at the Bamberg train station on February 2nd, 2004. Here is a little uh, city to city rail car. I think it's a private line, I'm not sure. Let's take a look here. Awesome. I'm sure that these modern rail cars replaced the old uh, red VT rail cars. Everything changes. Over here to the right, we just have an ice train leaving. Very, very cool. Here over here we have a modern German rail car. Let me take a look. Walk over here a little bit. This is the uh, electric uh, 442 class. Looks like a, like a Talent or a Desario, something like that. I think this one is on its way to Nuremberg. It's 
been a lot warmer in Germany uh, than Chicago. Um, today it's about 10:30 in the morning. Uh, it's three and a half Celsius, so probably about 35 or close to 40 degrees. It's a lot better than uh, you know minus 20, minus 30. So I feel like I'm on a tropical vacation compared to Chicago. The Bamberg train station um, has a lot of catenary. Uh, most of the track in the Bamberg train station are um, concrete ties. And um, I'm just going to hang around here today and wait to see if I can see some cool compositions. Over here is the uh, famous Bamberg um, malt factory. Pretty cool, typical old German factory, smoking it up. Gotta love it. Okay, we are still in Bumberg Station. Here we have one of those modern rail cars coming in. I think it's uh, one of those class 442s. They're really nice inside, very comfortable. They ride really smooth. That's coming into Bumberg Station. Now down there we have some old, old diesel rail cars. That composition on the, all the way on the right, I think those are those uh, class 628s. A lot of catenary. Big switch tower. In Bamberg, uh, a couple of those new modern rail cars pulled in. Those are those 641 classes. They look really cool. They're coupled together. They usually, I believe, run as a single unit, but uh, very neat. The Deutsche Bahn AG has a lot of modern rolling stock right now. A lot of these trains I really don't even recognize. Over here we have a side comparison of two modern rail cars. On the left we have a 425 class. On the right we have the new 440. I tell you, there are so many modern rail cars. I have to start studying these so I can figure out what's what. There's so many. There's a freight train coming in. Looks like a private railroad, MEG. Very cool. Logs. Big log train. Those locomotives, I believe, used to be the East German 155 classes. Now it's a private railroad called MEG. They probably bought them up from the DB or the DR.
40 leaving. A lot of action in Bomberg Station.